Hi, uh, February 28th, Happy Dog Farm here, 2014. Uh, 17 degrees out, minus 8 for the rest of the world. 13 below zero last night. Really cold for the rest of the world. Um, I'm taking advantage of really hard packed ground, frozen like a rock, to drive around the fence and check the fence wires. Uh, mostly they've gone really slack. I put this fence in last summer and the grounds moved a bit because of the cold and the freezing and the wires have gone slack so I'm tightening them up and I'll just show you kind of what I'm doing here if you look up there let's see okay the uh, I did the spring wire but directly above it you'll notice that I've got a lot of slack in those top ones now normally I do the spring wire and start from the top down because theoretically if you're pulling in the end post a little bit the bottom ones are going to go slack. You don't want to fight against the whole thing. But I just use the ratchet tool. I'm putting just enough tension on them so that they're 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 up. But I'm not tr tr cranking on them. The real issue being that when summer heat gets here, the ground's going to move again. I don't want to break a wire. Looking across the field, there's a second set because the fence is actually divided into two halves. Let's see if I can just, there you go. And you can see some slack on those. So I'll be going around there, and it's nice. I can get there without driving across the field proper. I can go around the outside, and I don't have to worry about compacting soil or messing anything up. The other thing is I have a very nice fencer, which I like a lot. I'm trying to find it here. There. That's the back side of my Parmac fencer. And that's been in service for four years around the place. And the battery froze when we got 20 below. So I'll be pulling the battery and ordering a replacement for it. Just kind of a consumable. You eat it. But it's a nice fencer and I like it. It's easy. It's got its own little panel. And it's just on a small enclosure like this. It's enough of a message to the deer that they leave this wire alone. They're trained. Even though there's no charge on it now, they get it. Well, that's all the, That's all there is. You know, that's it. I'm using the back of Murphy, the Kubota, as a work platform for the high wires. It's really handy. I just drive up to the wire, and I use the wrench, and life is good. Well, that's all she wrote. Take care, and you have a good day.